What's up all of my horror fanatics out there? Welcome back. I'm the Jay Sloan and I'm back here to do another video for you guys today. Today's date is April 17th, 2019 and I'm back here with yet another mail time video. This is my mail time number 12. Uh, before I get into it, I want to apologize for being gone for about a month. Um, <clears throat> had a lot of stuff going on work-wise. As well as a lot of stuff going on um, with those of you who watch the Walking Dead fan series. Got a lot of cool stuff coming for that. Um, just been a busy month, and honestly, not too many pickups have, have arrived or came in. Um, I ordered this one off of eBay on Sunday, I believe. Saturday or Sunday. It was from a seller I'd never ordered from before, um, but it was it was a bid. And my first actual time winning <laughs> a bid, um, if you watch some of my previous videos, you'll learn that I'm no good at bidding on eBay whatsoever. I uh, finally won one, and pretty excited to have it in. And the weird thing about this, though, uh, it came in a Shout Factory box, um, which may be a little nod because, you know, only horror collectors would really purchase something like this. Um, it is an out-of-print title. By, by the title of the video, you already know what it is, but I figured I'd do this intro solely because it's in a Shout Factory box. Um, and if you... if Hopefully, what I ordered is actually inside the box, and then you'll get to see what it is. Highly out of print. I got it for a really good deal, which I'll talk about uh, here in a few seconds. And we're going to go ahead and open the box and uh, dive into what is in store. Okay, guys, so here it is, as the title suggested, and as you are seeing now, Hellraiser, the Scarlet Box, featuring the first three Hellraiser films, arguably the best Hellraiser films, if not the only Hellraiser films. Uh, some of the sequels have some love as well, but uh, the first three is really uh, top-notch, you know, Hellraiser films. One and two particularly, um, I really love and have seen the most out of all of the, the franchise. Like I said, it's got Rocky over time, and everyone has different opinions, but... Uh, the Scarlet Box, man, this is so anticipated for me. Uh, it's a couple years old now, and I've been wanting to get my hands on one and never really just could pull the trigger, that price point um, where it is out of print, and this is the you know limited edition version. There's also another version that you can get. There's a Region A version and a Region B version um, with practically the same cover art. It just has a little bit of a different color scheme behind Pinhead himself as well. Um, as a different box layout um, that is just individual cases which some people may prefer but this is the one that I wanted to get my hands on and I finally did I got it sealed as you can see which is very rare for such a good price guys I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for it but it's crazy crazy how um, how little the cost was and I did win the bid so I guess that's part of it um, but yeah Hellraiser, the Scarlet Box. Now we're going to take a look uh, inside. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, wrapping off so I can show you guys um, the contents. Some of you may be saying, you're not going to keep that sealed. You know what? I've never sold um, anything in my collection to anyone. I've kept everything I've ever purchased. So I don't think I'll be getting rid of this one. It does drop the value, but I want to open this fucking thing up, and I'm going to. So let's look inside. Okay, guys, so here it is. I am going to show you all of the contents inside, but I'm going to make it a little easier on myself considering I don't have a tripod to do easy camera work. Um, so I've set the box to the side, um, and it's time to dive in to the box. So I'm going to cut here, and in just a second, you will see everything that comes inside of Hellraiser, the Scarlet Box Collection. Alrighty, let's dive into it guys. I have my phone light on so in case it's a little too bright I apologize, but I want everyone to get as close as I can get uh, to the detail within this set because it's absolutely beautiful some of the artwork um, or hellacious whichever way you look at it um, On the bottom of the box you have I'm in hell help me classic really really cool um, Here are the cases for the films themselves as you can see Really nice artwork guys there is the back. Let's take a look on the inside. And there is the first Hellraiser. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side. Here is Hell, uh, Hellbound Hellraiser 2. Look at that, man. Jeez, the artwork is crazy. Still, same kind of image on the back except a 2 there in the middle, as you can see. Okay, let's open this up. Same kind of... Uh, same kind of artwork on the inside on the disc as well as the inside of the case. 
Really cool. Okay, here we have Hellraiser 3. Love that image of the bartender there. Really, really cool. And 3 on the back of that as well. Same scheme. I'll show you anyway. Here we go. Alright. Uh, here we have the fourth disc, which I believe is limited to this set. It did not come with the three disc version um, that I mentioned previously. Um, that's really cool artwork there. We will take a look at the special features um, included here in a moment. Uh, here's the Clive Barker Legacy. Really cool. Can't wait to check that out. Same sort of, of scheme as you guys know. Now here um, is some art cards, I do believe. Got some uh, uh, torment kind of uh, tools here with the hooks and so on and so forth. Um, come on the back there. Now I'm going to give it a quick cut so I can show you guys each of the art cards that comes within the set and uh, yeah, give you guys a good look at what. Uh, what comes with it. All right, guys. So here is all of the art cards that you do receive within the um, edition itself. You have Pinhead over here on the left. Really cool images. Um, different color schemes: red, blue, green. You got Frank down here, uh, looking all jacked up. Uh, yeah, the Hellraiser franchise. I'll go ahead and give you guys a little note here. I'm not as well versed in as some franchises, such as Halloween, Friday the 13th, and Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, even Psycho, for that matter. I love the first two films, as I stated, but after that, it gets a you know little bit weary for me. The third one is pretty good as well. It's just been a little while since I've seen it, but the only thing I remember about the later sequels at all um, is catching bits and pieces on sci-fi. Um, but I guess that's why this set included the first three, because they are highly praised by Hellraiser as well as Clive Barker fans um so there's all the art cards give you an example on what's the what's on the back or little postcards i guess i should say there you go you can mail these out if you wanted to to somebody give them a little scare um here we have a uh, little pam greer uh, promotion uh, obviously with uh, all of uh, aero videos um current titles on the back they always send something like that we'll sit it here for a second uh, as you guys can tell by now why it was weird to get this in a Shout Factory box, an Arrow video hidden down in a Shout Factory box. Don't know if that's the only box the guy had or if it was a, a comedic kind of uh, thing that he wanted to do. But it, it kind of freaked me out for a second because I was like, if <laughs> if I got cheated out of, of this set, I'm going to be really upset. But everything's here and everything is in fantastic condition, new and sealed. Here we have some concept art. Look at that. That's really cool. <clears throat> I'm going to try to show you guys this. I really got to get a tripod. Really cool artwork. Look at that, man. Damn. Yep, Hellraiser concept art. Also, there's a poster, so I'm going to cut now and show you guys both sides of the poster. Okay, so I got this laid out just about as good as I could, guys. Um, there is the obviously the cover art for the Scarlet Box itself. And then on the flip side, there is the cover art for the other release. Um, like I said, not the special edition release, but still a really cool one to have. I would have took either one. I just uh, preferred the Scarlet Box. So now let's let's go take a look at Frank really quick, guys. Okay, so here we have probably one of the coolest things about this set. I'm going to flip through it as quickly as I can. Um, this is a 200 page booklet that comes with this set and it's just hardback. I mean, it is crazy. And as you can see, there's Frank, <laughs> the very, uh, scattered. I'll say that Jesus wept one of the craziest moments, one of the craziest lines from the original, but just look at the detail. Crazy. There's the spawn. As you can see, damnation games. Okay, guys, we're going to try to flip through it a little bit. I'll give you guys just kind of an example. It would take so long to show you every piece of this. If I had a tripod, I could do better. There we go. Doug Bradley's pinhead. Really crazy. Here's a shot. Try to open it a little bit better. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. Let's see Clyde Barker there. There is, I believe poster for Hellraiser 2 Hell on Earth or Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth I'm sorry I was thinking of Hellbound for a second it's 
more images on the effects. I'm in hell, help me. Really cool, guys. Really cool booklet. Really happy to have it. And uh, that is about all that comes with the set. A lot of content. Uh, probably one of the most uh, that I have so far, and I have quite a few Arrow Video sets, um, jam pack set that I have from Arrow Video. So much stuff, uh, art cards, 200 page booklet, poster, concept art, all the films, a uh, fourth disc. I mean, it's really cool uh, to have, and I'm so happy to finally have it. I missed out on it a couple years ago when it was uh, released. Now I'm going to show you all the special features for a brief moment. It's crazy, crazy special features. I'm not going to go over every one of them, but hopefully the quality is good enough that if you would like to, you can... Uh, you can pause it. We have such sites to show you. Really cool, man. Really cool. Happy to have it. Happy to uh, be uh, getting some new stuff in. Be expecting some more mail time updates and unboxing. And some things that you've never seen on the channel before, like gameplay. Uh, there's going to be probably a walkthrough here soon for a, a game that's... Uh, going to be coming out on the 26th, I believe, so stay tuned for that. And if you're a fan of the Walking Dead fan series, stay tuned. There's going to be something coming out really soon that I think a lot of fans are going to like. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm the Jay Sloan, and as always, well, as always, as eight years probably that I've said this, uh, keep it horror. So uh, I'll leave you on that last little note, guys, and uh, thank you so much for watching.